I'm Kimberly Trapani, executive producer, director, and the visionary for All Consuming Film. All Consuming Film is about the heartbreaking effects of illegal drug addiction and the overprescription of pills. I have to motivate this person to stay off drugs. They're implementing programs in New York State for heroin addicts to have a safe haven. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but they're trying to raise awareness in New York State to heroin addicts that, you know, they're trying to give them a safe haven to, you know, I want to, I don't like to say it, but to do the drug. No, no, say it. You know, but, Cooper, you know, you yeah, I mean, I don't get it. Yeah. Up. Right. Let, let, let's monitor you. Chuck, Artizone and I are ready. Are you ready? Why blame the victim? That states you can't prescribe it. If a patient can't speak for themselves, if they're incompetent, they shouldn't be given controlled addictive substances in the first place you're allowing it to happen and you're not you're not fixing the problem yeah. you're contributing to the problem by giving them a safe haven so, right. so it, it makes no sense it's like you want to go bomb a third world country for 30 billion dollars how about you give me 30 billion dollars you leave that country alone and don't spend any more money and I'll, i guarantee you i can help millions of people millions of addicts it's that simple This bridge connects my loved ones, life, death.
time is now. Let's get it together. This is my hometown. This is my hometown. my hometown This is my hometown This is my hometown I miss you counselor Kate Strafford my baby sister This bridge connects Kate Strafford, life and death. This is my hometown. This is my hometown. who was a beautiful girl and how it was very very important to her to defend doctors and medical malpractice lawsuits in New York. I'm getting a little tired of hearing myself talk so I am writing for Fox and doing public relations for an amazing organization that gives back to the community called Second Chance. I think it's very, very important as I put heat on your legislators and the governor and the president of the United States about how it is I'm gonna be motivated and continue to be motivated to encourage you to live. I think it's important to explain that. I work really, really hard at trying to encourage life and recovery. It doesn't matter that I have a master's degree. It doesn't matter that I went to SUNY Albany in my undergrad. It doesn't matter that I have 20 years of work experience and I used to work with CFOs and accountants and pitch on Obamacare back in the day. And I'm not gonna get into a political decision Discussion on the bridge that connects my sister Katie Strafford, comma, ESQ period, life between her living and dying. However, what I want to get into today is the executive announcement that I've made in, dis in conjunction with my amazing business partner my amazing business partner was there when i was getting a master's degree at a college called full sail university during my sister's school so yeah we had a lot of time to bond chuck and i during filming a movie called heroin and my sister's funeral so as I sit on the bridge and stand and run around in the rain during this time I am hoping and praying you will join me and my vision to bring a film 
production company to Albany, New York. Chuck and I have decided to relocate our headquarters to create film jobs, meaning movies, production, editing, casting, and hiring key people to New York. I hope you're excited about this. I hope you welcome my friends. I hope you re welcome my amazing actors back to their hometown. Eric Yetto, Jessica Torres, just to name a few and help us make film productions in New York. I am here in Waterford telling you that we are working really hard around the clock to create film production jobs. I hope you're excited. I hope you welcome my friends coming from Naples, Florida and California and help me cast, recruit, and help me tell the world our theme, why blame the victim. Send me your selfies. Keith Brown. I'm super blessed. We're so excited. And I got my updated Narcan kit. Why is it okay to be a victim of domestic violence? That's simple. Plain and simple. It's okay for a woman to be better because she has kids, because she's scared, and because she does not want to be humiliated with the man she has chosen. Domestic violence. Stop arresting your way out of your problems. Don't work. Take care. See you soon. Mwah. Fuck heroin. Fuck crystal meth. Fuck cocaine. Fuck overdoses and fuck death. Help me help you get recovered to live. Let's get the drug epidemic out of America. Mwah.